if you have little kids like I do that love running around the yard in power wheels and other things, sometimes you have the batteries that do not last very long. They uh, also don't have, don't have a lot of juice. So as you can see, it's kind of a dog. So if we're gonna take it from being a dog to uh, being able to use some of the batteries that you have sitting in your garage with uh, some of your power tools and some of, the, some of the other batteries that you may have sitting around. Uh, this is a, a video to show you how to convert your power wheel from uh, the stock battery to either a Milwaukee, DeWalt, Ryobi, any other battery that you, that you may have. So what you're gonna need is a screwdriver with a Phillips, two pieces of wire, a wire strippers, wire connectors. So I use Wagos, uh, wire nuts will work. Otherwise you can also use crimps, uh, inline butt splices to tie two pieces of wire together. You are also going to need a battery. So I have a Milwaukee battery. And then this is a DC converter. So this hooks up to the battery and then gives you your 12 volt power. So we're gonna go from 18 volts to 12 volts with this. And we also have a potentiometer. This potentiometer is, has a dial on it that you can increase and decrease the, the voltage that you send to the power wheels. And what that does is means if you got your two year old in here, you can turn it all the way down so they're gonna creep. And then uh, if your older kids are a little bit more experienced in it, then you can dial it up a little bit more and, and uh, let them roll around like it's a roller coaster. So let's just uh, dive right in and, and uh, start swapping this out. So first thing I need to do is get to the battery. So I'm gonna take the seat out here. We have our battery, so I just disconnect the battery from the wiring harness inside of the power wheels. And then we have our old battery here that never likes to keep a charge, that doesn't last over the winter, especially if you leave it in the garage and it's cold. It, uh, these things really like to die. So we're gonna take this, get rid of it, and we're doing upgrades. So from our existing wiring harness we have a clip that went into the battery so we're going to snip that off now i'm going to strip those wires Right, those two are stripped and then we are going to go through our so we're gonna go from the wiring in the power wheels itself through the potentiometer to the new battery so I'm gonna strip these wires just just throw your scraps anywhere Somebody else will take care of them, right? There we are. So I have both, both ends stripped. So I'm going to use my Wagos. Two wires, two Wagos. So I'm going to wire these into my potentiometer. So we have an input and an output here. So for this particular one, my P, P positive and P negative are my inputs. And then my M negative and M positive are the outputs.
black and red wire are finished. Okay, so this is going to hook up to our battery converter, yellow to red and black to black. And we are halfway there. So when you put any wires into either a a Wago or any sort of connector, even a uh, wire nut. You always want to tug on them to make sure that they're seated in there correctly. Now we're going to come from the output of our potentiometer to the machine itself. Let's think about all the weight we're cutting here too. It's at least a pound. And there we go. So to review, we're gonna come from our battery converter through the potentiometer, which is gonna give us adjustability of voltage which gives us adjustability of power to the machine itself so right now i have it turned all the way down and i'm going to plug in the battery and it's turned on so that's with it all the way down then I turn it all the way up. Get back here. And that's really it. Now it's done. You have the adjustability from going from uh, uh, high power, which Tim Taylor would really love, or low power, which I think your, your uh, spouse might appreciate when you put a toddler on here. Oh yeah, much faster. The last part to this, is, once you know that it works, is to mount all of these pieces of equipment inside of the, the battery cabinet. So you don't wanna have these things just rolling around. So this here, This converter has two holes in the side where you can very easily screw it down to the to the chassis. Um, there are also kits that are not included here that have Velcro that have basically just taken a screw through a piece of Velcro to to nail this down. Um, the big thing here is just to get it packed in so that it's not flopping around and then the connections don't come loose so that you can then get the seat back on. So for right now, I am just going to put the, just going to put the seat back on and this thing is ready to roll.